access. Our manipular barracks and harbor are done being constructed. You, my friend, can keep at it. Is there nothing else? That is impossible. Impossible, is it? You can go there next turn. I haven't uncovered anyone new. That was just Carthage. We hunger for battle. Now lay siege to Alalia. Pretty heavily against us, those odds. And they have a big army there. About half a stack. So, we take this in this case, long. I'm actually going to starve them out. I'm going to lay siege to the settlement for the required six turns. Or rather, until they have to come to me. And I'm going to hire a couple of mercenary cavalry to supplement my forces. I'll disband them for proper units of mine after I take the settlement. But the mercenaries for now will help supplement my regular forces. And now, get me that trading port. And we're out of money again. Lovely. So, before I do anything else, let's check. I am honored for to receive you deals. and look forward to your erudite. You speak with wisdom and. I doubt they would know. Athens would never consent to being our client state. Ever. If we wanted that, we'd have to conquer them. M Libya. I will be a patient audience for your speech. They are Carthage's sure that client you come state. to deliver a profitable message. How about trade? We can ask no more. Your proposal is wise. Honorable, and I hope pregnant with future profit. Yes, Carthage may hate us, but that doesn't mean that their client states will follow suit. Now, does it? Hmm. We can't establish trade with Sparta. That's right. I remember this from when we start. From when I played a game as Sparta. Sparta does not start with access to a port. So, we can't trade with Sparta right off the bat. The blessing of the Olympians upon you. What then and do your noble people desire? They wouldn't accept being our client state. I'll have to see if we can buy their freedom from them sometime. But... We can't do that now, because we have no money. But we're making nearly 4,000 next turn. And I'm out of cash, and I've done everything I can. So let's move. Carthage wants trade. trade. Do your people share this love? Actually, I do, even if you are being incredibly rude to us right now. Trade. Our... As right now, Rome is trading with literally everybody. That's how we make our money, for the most part. Though, I want to move away from that later on, towards being more self-sufficient. And the reason for that is actually a holdover from a campaign I did once 
in Shogun 2, and it's because of mechanics that don't exist in this game, but I still kind of prefer to do it. Basically, I had one game I did in Shogun 2 where I was playing as a clan that was so heavily focused on trade, I made about 90% of my money by trading. Then the Realm Divide hit, and I became bankrupt practically overnight. As a result, I have a tendency to focus a bit more on getting internal improvements to make my money off of where I can. It's not always possible, but I like to do it. Naval maneuvers research is done. We're taking a bit of attrition. Population surplus. Stuff built. Training reforms now. What are the odds looking no like now? Not much better, frankly. They have about a thousand men more than we do. Laying siege to the settlement! Victory for Rome! I'll get another unit of horsemen, actually. We can have a full, st full stack army, albeit once taking a bit of attrition as we're waiting. Let's see here. Civil Colonia in Brundisium. That's what I'll do next. Nobody up in Italia is going... I can't afford anything up there. So I will end my turn. And they have decided to attack us. So... First, I'm going to save the game. As you can see, auto-resolving is not going to go our way. Best we come is protective stance gives us a close defeat, but I don't want that. I want to crush their asses. And they have a couple of units of boats they might bring in. Those don't really matter. And the garrison, not including the cavalry and spearmen, is just a bunch of peasants. They have quite a few veteran Italian spearmen here. In fact, Italian spearmen is their entire army, pretty much. Minus a couple of slingers. 
from both the fleet and the garrison. That's going to be their entire force, so... Veteran though they might be, the fact the whole of their force is Italian spearmen. They have zero. They have only... Right here. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, they have only five units with any sort of ranged capability. I'm not counting their ballista ship here because I don't think those can dismount. And even if it can, my cavalry can easily run it down. So let's do this. Let's do this. We are so going to beat their asses. And... It is now high time that I showed off a battle in this little mini playthrough. Because it's been long enough. And I didn't play through the first two battles since they weren't going to be worth a damn. I probably should have, actually. Then again, it might not even have been worth it. So let's do this. They're going to be coming from that direction, what a subtle it is. But, I'm going to increase the distance they have to march by positioning us back a bit. So, my dear Etruscans, I hope you brought your marching shoes. You are going to need them. Hehehehe. <laughs> Romans, ready for duty. And yes, a bit of a non-traditional formation. <clears throat> What I would normally do is have my spearmen covering the flanks so the cavalry couldn't take hits, but I'm not doing that right now. Men of Italia. And our cavalry units will be waiting up this hill to run down the sorry bastards who are dumb enough to tr and attack us. The general unit will just be there providing moral support. Enemy reinforcements approaching. We must make them proud that we are their defenders. More than that, our Roman gods are watching. Okay. They're advancing on us with their 100% Spearman army. I'm going to speed up time. And they are going to be very exhausted with the distance they have to march to reach us. At least that's the hope.
they have some ships over there that they're undoubtedly going to be landing. But those are just a couple of a couple of missile units. Not a whole lot to worry about. You guys enjoy your march now. It's going to take you a while. And yes, those guys are making landfall now, but they don't actually matter. For the most part. Light missile unit. And medium missile unit. I'm seeing way, way back here some melee cavalry from the garrison. Uh, their garrison's tiny, tiny forces are going to start to factor in at some point. I don't know how effect if I'm making them march this far is at depleting <clears throat> depleting their morale by tiring them out, but it was worth a shot. Well, if they're fresh now, they're not going to stay that way for very long. <clears throat> they're on fire at will. Let's put them on skirmish mode as well, just to be safe. Melee infantry at your command! Forward! Rush them now. Pastati! Spears ready. Attack their ready. position. Extempo ready and waiting. Now everyone engage. Fight like this. Brave Romans to a man. Your orders, General. Now, Italian cavalry, men of Italia, ready and waiting. Yep. Cut them down. Quickly now. Orders. Be a kill. 
cav unit. Okay, you've done your charge. Now fall back. And a couple of the enemy units are already starting to waver. Excellent. Let's... those cav... need to fall Already back. For Rome, for <laughs> and we'll send you in now. I'm going... I'm pulling the whole attack and retreat thing with my calf. They move in for an assault. The men are wavering. And then they pull back afterwards. Wavering, are they? The general can inspire them then. Our men flee the field of battle. This is a shameful display. I'm sorry, they're doing what now? Pastati! Get your asses down there and mow them down. Italian cavalry! Italian cavalry! Attack for Rome! Get them down. Do it. Pastati! <clears throat> Press the attack. Press the attack. Pastati! Ready and waiting! Now go for the ones that haven't routed yet. Come on. Jupiter gives us strength. Come on. Come on. Italian cavalry! Charge! And you guys can continue. Proud Romans all! Going after those imbeciles. Attack back there. Looks like we've got their general pinned. Now engage. Engage. Italian cavalry. And this, ladies and gentlemen is why I fight the vast majority of my battles manually. Because in my experience, I can do a better job than the auto-resolve at resolving the battles. Get stuck in. Get in there. Go after their archers. Spearman, at the ready. Engage their archers. Italian cavalry. The enemy general is dead. Yes. Suck it. Suck on that, you son of a bitch. And once again, I must remind everybody to run. Yeah. And the battle is ours. Normally I would continue. Ah, screw it. I'll mow them down. I will mow their asses down. Now 
now I will just have the battle continue while we murder as many of them. One of our 